Hi, this is your brain. It rewards you for things you like to do. Now take this phone and scroll on TikTok till 3 a.m. Congratulations, your brain fell for it, and now you've got an addiction. But this doesn't happen instantly. It happens in stage one, binge and intoxication. Your brain learns during addiction. The main chemical behind this is dopamine. People call dopamine the pleasure molecule, but that's not exactly right. Dopamine is the pay attention, this matters molecule. When something feels good, dopamine spikes. That spike tells your brain the thing you just did is worth repeating. It lights up the basal ganglia, especially the nucleus accumbens, the reward center. This makes whatever you're doing start turning into a habit. Stage two, withdrawal. High dopamine doesn't stay high forever. Your brain tries to compensate. It lowers natural dopamine levels, which seems like a smart fix, but comes with a cost. Regular life starts to feel quieter and duller. Natural rewards don't land the same way. This pushes you toward the addictive behavior again just to feel normal. That's only half the chemical trap. The other half is the stress system. When dopamine drops, the extended amygdala kicks in. This part of your brain says, something feels wrong. You start to feel restless, and this emotional discomfort motivates you to seek relief. This urge is called negative reinforcement. Stage three, preoccupation and anticipation. This stage happens when your prefrontal cortex gets weakened. This is your decision-making, long-term thinking, and self-control. Chronic dopamine disruption wears it down. Your brain becomes hyper-focused on cues. It becomes harder to resist urges and harder to weigh consequences, pushing you right back into your addiction. But fear not, there are ways to repair this cognitive flaw. This isn't a motivational speech. You're not going to out-willpower dopamine. If you depend on willpower alone, you'll burn out. Instead, focus on structure. Your prefrontal cortex is fighting your basal ganglia. Guess which one wins when you're tired, stressed, or bored? Yeah not the smart one. So it isn't be stronger, it's know when you're weaker. Notice when you're most likely to cave, late at night or when you're bored. When you know your triggers, you can stop blaming yourself and start building defenses. One of the most reliable ways to start breaking an addiction is to temporarily remove the source of cheap dopamine. Not dopamine fasting, that name is terrible, but taking a break from the instant easy hits your brain keeps chasing. When you take away the constant stimulation, your brain begins to reset. The first few days will feel terrible, but that's not failure. That's your reward system rebooting. Most people quit here because boredom feels wrong. It doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. It means your brain is remembering what normal feels like. When you stop flooding it with quick highs, everyday things start to feel better again. Music sounds nicer, food tastes richer, conversations don't feel like filler between scrolls. Start small, delete the app for a week, stop watching short videos for a few days, or eat meals without your phone. If it feels unbearable, that's literally the point. Your brain's tolerance has to drop before you can enjoy normal dopamine again. But removing something isn't enough. If you don't replace the habit, your brain will just find something else to latch onto. Give it something to chase that's harder but more rewarding. Learning a skill, moving your body, reading, or anything that doesn't give instant gratification but builds satisfaction over time. Slowly, your brain relearns that slower rewards feel more meaningful. Your environment also plays a massive role. Addiction isn't just internal, it's triggered by cues. Your phone, even the time of day, can spark a craving. So change the environment. Move your phone out of reach. Log out of apps so the extra steps give your prefrontal cortex a chance to intervene. You don't have to be perfectly disciplined. You just have to make relapse inconvenient. Withdrawal is also normal. It's not just physical, there's a psychological withdrawal too. That empty feeling like something's missing. When that happens, don't panic and don't rush to fill it. Sit with it. Go on a walk. Talk to someone. Do something boring. And because your brain loves loopholes, make your rules before you need them. If you wait until the craving hits, the craving will win. Pre-decide. If I feel the urge to scroll, I'll wait 10 minutes. If I crave sugar, I'll drink water first.
This keeps impulses from hijacking you before you even notice. Relapsing doesn't mean you failed, it means your brain is still learning. The worst thing you can do is spiral into guilt, because guilt makes you seek comfort and your addiction knows exactly how to give it to you. Instead, notice what triggered the relapse, adjust your plan, and keep going. Anyway, I hope this helps. 